Hello, happy Wednesday and welcome to Wellness Wednesday. I'm so excited to be here with you today. Today we're talking about consistency as the key to building strength. And I wanted to take a look at this topic because it's something that I hear so consistently with the women that I work with. You know, I know I should, I know I should strength train. Um, I can't find the time. I just can't be consistent with it. And in my programs, we look at a lot of the reasons why you possibly are not consistent with it. But today I wanted to look at really consistency the power of consistency, okay? And when it comes to building strength, how does that play out? And then we'll look at some reasons why we're inconsistent and see maybe if we can, you know, kind of narrow that down for you. I find at this stage in our lives, we are very much, you know, we're very busy. We wear a lot of hats. We're some of us in the sandwich generation, we're caring for kids, we've got kids in post-secondary, we are grandparenting, we're um, caring for aging parents, lots going on. And as we know, and the feedback I get from a lot of the beautiful women I work with is that, you know, our self taking care of ourselves go, just goes down the list, right? I mean, it's, it's so true, right? Just so true that that goes down the list. So we know, science tells us, research tells us, that if we are stronger physically, it will help us in so many ways as we're aging. Helps us retain muscle mass, bone health, hormone regulation, uh, keeps our bodies toned, helps us live independently, helps us stay doing the things that we love, just downright makes us feel better day to day, right? I think it's so important that we really experience our own strength. Um, you know, such an important part of experiencing our body and all that it can be. So let's take a look at just what sporadic physical activity can look like. So we all know that sporadic physical activity, right? Okay, today's the day. It's Monday. And today I'm going to work out. I'm going to do a strength training routine. And so I'm just, I'm going to give her because, you know, I haven't been very consistent and I'm just going to go. And then you wake up the next day and you are so sore. You can hardly move. Matter of fact, maybe you can't really sit on the toilet seat comfortably. Ever had that happen? I have for sure. <laughs> um, and so you know, there's that pain and the soreness. And we know that that's from working our muscles. Okay. But then we're in so much pain that we really don't want to sign up for this workout a second time. Or, you know, it's another week or two weeks before we venture back into it. So we've got, we're sporadic in how we're showing up for it. And this can really increase pain and soreness. Okay. And it really doesn't make you want to exercise again or, or strength train again. Right. There's, there's not a, oh, wow, I should really do that again. Right. I couldn't lift my arm for three days, but, you know, I'm going to go back at that. And the brain is going like, no, no. Right. So keeping a consistent workout routine helps prevent tightness in our muscles, which leads to better performance. So when we're consistently challenging our muscles, okay, and strength training, then this helps prevent tightness in our muscles. 
And this helps us lead to better performance in day-to-day -day living. And the more inconsistent you are with strength training or exercise in general, okay, the more likely you're to, fat to fatigue. Okay, we all know that, you know, if you can think about that time that, you know, you were really exercising or, you know, um, showing up and doing it on a consistent basis, how much stronger you felt, but also how that affected your endurance in your day-to-day -day life. Things just became easier, right? And if you've never experienced that, now's the time, right? So fatigue is one of the major culprits of both acute and overuse injuries. Inconsistency can lead to undertraining and believe it or not, overtraining, okay? Both of those are precursors to injury. Inconsistent exercise is undertraining. That makes total sense. Right? We're not doing it consistently enough. We're adding stress to the muscle. And then we leave it too long before we come back to it. And often we think that because we've done it that once and we were so sore, we're that much stronger and we could go heavier again. Right? Not the case. Okay. Overtraining occurs when you do too much too soon. Now, I have seen this, I worked out in gyms for a long time, I taught in gyms, and I have seen that time and time again. Common time of year to see that would be January, you know, when we're all going to get fitter and stronger. And so we head into the gym or to do our workout, and we start with too much too fast. And we're stressing the joint, we're stressing the muscles, we're stressing the body, which we want to do, okay, when we're building strength. However, we're doing too much of it too soon. We're not giving enough rest time in between, right? And so then we injure ourselves. I have seen this time and time and time again. And even got to the point I could predict it with certain people that I saw in the gym. Just because the workout that they had chosen to do, their body wasn't ready to do it yet. And the time that they had picked to do this in was way too long. You know, there's, there's that feeling, especially for women of punishment, right? You know, I'm going to show up and I'm going to punish my body into being toned and being the best it can be. And I can do this. I just have to motivate myself and I have to have discipline. I'm here to tell you, it doesn't have to be that difficult at all. As a matter of fact, it can be easy. Imagine that. Easy. There can be an ease and a flow in it in building strength. But the key to that is consistency. Showing up time and time again and again and again, right? So what's the bottom line on consistent exercise or consistent work to build our strength? Okay, we can live longer, more independently, less likely to experience chronic pain, increase your immune system, you're happier, you build resilience, you tap into your own strength, you positively affect your bone health, your metabolism, hormones, all of these things so relative, energy, all of these things so relative at this time in our life. Well, I'm going to say, especially at this stage in our lives. Okay. Hormones fluctuate. Maybe we're sleeping great. Maybe we're not sleeping great. Okay. But showing up for ourselves on a consistent basis, building strength. And a little can go a long way here. So if typically you've shown up for a strength training program 
and you've shown up for a full hour and you've gone to the gym, lifted weights, or maybe you're at home doing whatever. What if it could be a little bit easier? That doesn't mean it's not challenging. We know that in order to create a strength change, which is measurable by the way, okay, we need to challenge the muscles. There is no doubt about that, okay? Bringing that muscle to fatigue. giving ourselves a couple days off and then trying it again. With some clients that I work with, they have three days off in between, just depending on where you're at. And we really have to be so connected to our own body. So if it was easier, if it was simple, would it not make sense that you would be more consistent with it? It's much easier to show up consistently for something that has ease and flow than for something we have to literally talk ourselves into every single time we show up. Makes sense, right? Makes sense. So maybe we could add some st little strength training bite-sized bits into our day. Right? You know, I'm all about small steps, create big change. So maybe we could put some little five minute intervals into our day. Maybe we could stack them. So maybe we're going to do some squats and add in some arm exercises at the same time. Maybe we're going to do some wall sits where we sit up against the wall for a couple minutes. Do that once or twice a day, build strength. Maybe we're going to add some push ups in somewhere. Maybe we're going to add a little bit of weight training a couple days a week. When we get up, all doable. And when you think about that, it makes it easier to become consistent. Has flow, has ease, we fit it into our day. The key is consistency. Showing up time and time and time again. In my groups, we do a strength test. Four exercises that we do at the beginning of the month. All timed for 30 seconds. So the whole thing takes two minutes, four minutes with transitions. We record those numbers. Show up consistently all month. And at the beginning of the next month, we do the test again. Record our results. Compare the two. In one of those four exercises, for sure, your numbers will have changed. Mostly two, three. You build strength. That gives you results. It's measurable, right? It gives you results. When you see results, this also fuels consistency. But when you're trying to get you to get into a consistent pattern, if you keep it in small bite-sized chunks, it makes it easier. And after a while, when you see your results, you feel your results. It's just way easier to show up consistently because you start to feel them if they shift and change as well. 
and you stop showing up, you start to notice the difference. Right? We all want to be active and independent living for as long as possible. I know that is number one on my list. And staying strong and being able to do the chores around here every day with ease is important to me. Consistency helps me do that. It helps you tone your body, change your body, absolutely. All of those things. Building strength increases your metabolism. Important things as we're aging. And so my question to you is, what are you doing consistently right now? Are you working on building strength? Simple yes or no answer. If not, do you want to be? Because it comes down to that as well, right? And is, is this what you want? Do you want to build more strength in your body? We all know we should or we need to, but that doesn't mean we show up to do it. So if this is something that you want to do for yourself, what is that going to look like for you? What are you doing consistently now? How can we keep it simple, make it easy, challenges the body, gives us strength results, but has an ease and a flow to it? We're wise enough to know now that showing up for something we don't want to do is torturous, right? So how can we get it to a place where we want to do it, where we want to show up for it. And for those of you who want to build strength on a consistent basis, you don't know where to start, you need some help getting started. This month, no, next month in September, I am starting that. Okay, it's a strength training program for women. It is live in the uh, virtual studio. So you can be anywhere you want. You could show up live or you can do the replay. Start the month with a strength test to see where you are. It's very easy. It's not a difficult strength test. There are lots of different ways to do it. So you can meet yourself where you're at. Huge. I'm going to do a workshop on how to lift, okay, strength train in the comfort of your own home. What to look for, um, posture, compensations, all those kinds of things to be aware of when you're working from your own home and what you'll need to do that. So watch for that workshop because it's coming. And this can be a great way for you to build strength on a consistent basis. It's 30 minutes, the classes. You have access to the replay, so you can do it twice in one week. Beautiful, that meets consistency, okay? That will produce results. 
You could do it three times if you wanted. You have access to the replay. And it's just a great way to start building in strength into your body in a consistent manner. So I really hope you will join me for that. And if you are not on my email list, um, please just send a little note, drop it in comments, and we will make sure to reach out to you and get you on our email list as details about this will be coming next week. All right? So the key to building strength is consistency. And we've brought that into the forefront. We're thinking about that now. So just ask yourself, do I want to build strength? Do I want to feel stronger? How could this play out in my day-to-day -day living? And am I willing to commit to consistent strength training so that I can rock these midlife years, right? Thank you so much for joining me. It has been such a pleasure to chat with you this morning as it is on every Wellness Wednesday. Um, and I am away next week. So um, we'll be uh, going into the guides. We'll have some posts on that for you. And um, I will be back the week after. I'm gonna go vacation with eight beautiful grandkids and their mamas and papas and oh, it'll be so much fun. All right, take care of you. And remember, consistency is the key. Thanks so much.